Hello and welcome back to my channel, Cards by Melissa Minor. I have the June Folded Club from the Stamps of Life, and this is the Food Cart Folded Die Set. So here is the inspiration card made by the design team. So let's take a look at what we have here. I have it stored here in one of the Stamps of Life envelopes. I believe this is the medium one. And I also have one of these magnetic sheets that I got from the Stamps of Life. So I'm trying out this new storage system to see how I like it. And so far, I really like it. So here's a look at the die. And let's take a look at the stencils. We have this pretzel stencil. That's awesome. And then there's also another stencil in here. Let me grab this out. So there's the pretzel stencil. And then here is the skyline stencil. I love that too. I've already stenciled that, so here's a better look at that. Just I've cut it down, but just so you can kind of see what that looks like. So let me go ahead and put all this back in the envelope and we can get started and make some cards. So I like how all this fits in this envelope. Um, it just fits in here great. So I think I'm gonna start keeping all of my folded sets in here. Works great. Okay, let's go ahead and get started making a card. So I've went ahead and I have cut the outline die out in white and then I did a little stenciling and I used the twig ink. And then I've cut this out with some sunshine cardstock and I'm just gonna layer this on here and then I've cut, so when you cut this out, it cuts out like this and I'm just gonna kind of dry fit this, but I want to make the top kind of like a pattern. Um, I want to make it two-toned. And um, so I want to cut this down and make it two-toned. So I'm going to snip um, one of these off here. So I'm going to snip this one and, and then I'm going to get some of the glue and I'm going to glue this on here. So let me, let me go ahead and bring in my glass mat. I actually love this glass mat. It protects my work surface. I will have this link down below in the description box if you're interested. I actually bought this for myself for Mother's Day and I do have an affiliate link. And this is um, has come in so handy. It wipes off great. So if I get glue on it or ink, or anything, um, it's a great work surface. So it, I definitely was in need of this so I can keep my white surface white. <laughs> so um, there's little chads on here. So you'll see I cut one and then I put one to the side. That's gonna be the trash. And because I don't need that, so then I'm gonna cut the next one and then I'm gonna put some glue on here. And then I'm gonna continue gluing every other one. I'm just gonna do a couple on camera and then I will continue doing the rest of these off camera. Um, I think you get the point on here. You don't need to watch me doing the rest of these. So we'll just continue um, cutting um, as we go here, set one aside and so on and so forth. So pretty simple. Um, but this is how you make the pattern on these and it's going to be super cute um, to do this. So there we go. I'll do one more. Okay, so I have that done and I'm going to put it up here. I went ahead and put some foam tape on the back. I'm not going to glue that down yet. So this piece, um, it cuts out, when you cut this out, it cuts out in the center. So I went ahead and ran it through my die cut machine with vellum. And I really don't want that stenciling to look so bright. So I'm gonna put this piece of vellum on here. Now, you know with vellum, you can't really put glue on there or, or you know, people are gonna see your glue. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of glue at the top here on these points. And then I'm going to use that awning to kind of cover up um, where that that where that glue would be. So you shouldn't be able to see where I have that glue. And so I think that um, with my awning here and that foam tape, that's just going to cover that. 
And then I have a little like black mark um, on my um, piece there. So I have that kind of over on the right hand side. I'm going to put a little embellishment there. Okay. And you'll see I also kind of moved it down a little bit. It's supposed to go up higher on the card. So see that little space right there? I intentionally left that space because I wanted to move it down a little bit lower so that it covered up my glue, um, you know, on that vellum. So if that bothers you, I guess you could trim it off, but we're going to add it to the card base. So I didn't want to trim, I didn't want to trim that off. You could actually put ribbon up there too, I guess, um, if that white space bothers you, or you could just move it up higher. Um, and then I went ahead and ran it through my die cut machine right here for this little black piece. So I just trimmed the little chads off and that's gonna be the tire. And then let me look here. I think I cut a little inner piece out for the inside of the tire and I know I did. Let me find it here. I cut it out in the color cloud. There it is. Um, this I cut this out in cloud cardstock. So there's a die that comes included for that. So I will add this to the tire here. So let me get this centered up and we'll give it a good press. So that looks good. I think this food cart is so cute. Um, it reminds me of big cities. I live in a very rural area, so I don't see anything like this where I live. The closest thing I would see to this is maybe at the fair. Um, that's the closest I would get to something like this. I have been to Chicago. Um, I think I saw something like this into Chicago. I've been there a few times for some work trips, um, but I'm just gonna use my imagination. All right, so this is one of the layering pieces. And so I cut this and I was um, careful. I thought to cut it in the same direction as the strips for the awning as well. So I tried to cut those in the same direction so that I didn't have stripes going two different directions. And then I have the word treats here and then this white piece cuts out and I'm not sure if I want to ink this white piece to give it a different color or if I just want to put treats on the yellow. So you could do either or, you could add another color behind here or you could just put it um, directly onto your card. And uh, I think I kind of like it just right onto the yellow. I think it makes that yellow pop. Um, so I think I'm gonna do it like this. So let me add a little bit of glue. And we will put a little bit of glue on the back of the treats. There we go. Get that pressed down. So that's super cute. All right. And now we're going to start the embellishing our cart because it does say treats after all. So we need to add some treats. So let's start bringing in the treats. Oh, first one more embellishment. So I'm bringing in this stamp set or it's actually a die set. And this is called, let me look for the name. This is called Camper to Stamp, and I'm actually using the dies from here. You see that little die that has like the little flags? I think that looks like a cute little banner, and that banner actually works perfect for this little cart, and it was too cute not to use on here, so I'm actually bringing that in from my stash to use and embellish this little treat cart with. So if you don't have the camper to stamp dies, I think it's a must have because you could use that little banner for so many different little things. I mean, that would even look cute on little birthday cards. I forgot that I even had it in my stash. I don't even know how I came across it, but I'm so glad I did. And then I'm bringing in this one. Now this one you might think is a little odd to bring in, but the reason that I'm bringing in this one is I want to use that little bowl. And this one is called Tacos to Stamp. And there is a little bowl on here. And so what I'm thinking is I thought it might look a little odd just to stack some pretzels up. I thought the pretzels needed a landing spot. So 
I thought I would put the pretzels in this bowl. So the pretzels have, um, or excuse me, the pretzel, the bowl has nachos in it. And so I need to remove those nachos from the bowl. And so I'm going to cut the nachos off of the bowl here. So that way I can put the pretzels in it. And I'm hoping that this works out. And then I will color up the bowl um, to give it some color. So I've already die cut it. Now usually I stamp and then die cut, but I was trying to save a little bit of time here. So I went ahead and die cut first and then stamped. And so let's trim these little nachos off. And let's see what this looks like there. So now I have a little bowl, perfect. I guess if you don't have this stamp set, maybe you could make a circle and draw a little bowl. That might work too. All right, I'm bringing in my Totally Tiffany eight and a half by 11 paper taker. That's where I store my Spectrum Noir alcohol markers. And these are my tri-blend markers. And I wanna maybe color this um, bowl in blue. So I think I have my true blue blend here and I'm just gonna use the darkest color. This is very small, this bowl. I'm just gonna use my darkest color along the outer edges here. And then um, there's not a lot of room, but then I'll switch to the medium color and then very lightly um, go along the top here with the, with the lightest shade. So let me go ahead and finish coloring this up. And then I'm gonna need to pick out a color for the top of the bowl. And I think I wanna bring in that yellow color. Now my tri-blend markers, I have two yellow markers in the set. There's one that's like a super light yellow, and then there's one that's like a fluorescent yellow. So I don't really feel like I have a good representation for a yellow marker. So a lot of times when I need a yellow marker, I will bring in um, my Copic markers. And so I have those stored here in another Totally Tiffany bag. Oh my goodness, I should really write the names on these bags. If somebody knows what the name of this bag is, you can comment down below. Um, but I have here um, one of the Copic markers and um, because I just feel like it has like a brighter yellow. So I just colored the top of this bowl here in the yellow. And I wanna put a little foam tape on the back of this bowl just to pop this up because I am gonna be adding the pretzels in here. Um, I feel like if the bowl is maybe popped up just a little bit, then it's going to allow me to add in the pretzels behind it. So since I am gonna be adding the bowl over here to this right-hand side of my cart, I'm gonna add a little bit of glue just to help hold that vellum down um, to my card. And just because I'm on camera, <laughs> I am really struggling with um, peeling back the release paper on this foam tape. Um, if you've watched my videos, you know that that is something I struggle with a lot. <laughs> there we go. Not too bad, I guess. Only took me maybe three tries this time. All right, so I have my cute little bowl here, and now I can bring in some pretzels. So I've went ahead and cut some of these pretzels, and I'm only going to color one here on camera for you and then I'll color the rest of these off camera. So these are really easy to cut with the die. So I have one, two, three, I think I want four. Yeah, I've got four here. And I wanna put three pretzels in the bowl and then one just like spilling off to the side. So let me get a marker pulled out here and we will get these colored up. And what I did is I just colored around the outside of the pretzel. Now the inside of the pretzel, the dye, it does not come out. Um, so that does stay white. Um, so.
So that's just something to keep in mind. And that's why I thought that the vellum um, was a good idea because it made the pretzels stand out a little more. Um, the white on the pretzel on the inside against the white background, I just thought it didn't look right. So that's another reason that I decided to bring in the vellum just to kind of make the pretzel pop even a little bit more. All right, so you can see here the pretzels were super easy to color up. Just going along and getting the edges colored in just a little bit more. And I know it's kind of hard to see on camera because these are pretty tiny. But let me go ahead and let's see if I can get some tweezers. So yeah, it's going to go right in there. So let me, yeah, here's my tweezers. And let me add a little bit of the glue. And we will drop this right into that bowl. Let me get a better grip on this pretzel. So we'll just drop it right in there. So I will get the rest of these colored up and add them to the bowl. There we go. Perfect. So I got the three pretzels in the bowl and I'm adding this fourth one right here on the edge of the bowl. So doesn't that look cute? I love it. All right, and now I need to add some bling because no card is complete without bling. So let's add um, a white gem to the center of the tire to complete the tire. And then I've got these pretty gems, which I think these came in a card kit maybe last month, uh, no, maybe the month before. I'm losing track, but these are so pretty. And the yellow, I think it just matches perfectly. So that's looking really good. So the next thing I need to do is just make this into a folded shaped card. So let me go ahead, oh, that wasn't supposed to happen. Let me put that back on here. The next thing I need to do is just bring out the shadow die and we'll fold this piece of powdered sugar cardstock in half. And I do wanna make this a top folding card. So I'm just going to put this die along the crease at the top, overhang it just a little bit, put some masket tape on here and run it through my die cut machine. Here we go, perfect. Got a shaped card. I'm gonna add some glue to the card base. Let me get the glue out here. I'm gonna be gen I'm gonna put a, quite a bit of glue on here so I don't want it to go anywhere. And then I will go ahead and adhere my card to that card base. So let me get that pressed down. You can see this card went together so fast. And I was thinking instead of the word, instead of putting treats right there, you could actually put um, your sentiment there. Like um, you could put happy birthday there. Um, so many different things. That would be cute. Maybe even like happy Father's Day there. That would be cute. All right, so there is the card. And to finish this off, I want to add my personalized stamp. So at the Stamps of Life, they do have these personalized stamps, which you can order these. And so mine says, created by Melissa Miner. There we go. Here's our first card. All right, so since you've already seen me complete the base and the awning, I'm not gonna go, I'm not gonna show that on camera, but the concept is the same. I use the black and the white. And then I did use a little bit of the um, specialty paper, like the foil, to cut out the tire rim instead of the cloud cardstock on this one. And instead of using where I did the striped paper at the bottom for the outline on the last card, I'm not doing that. I'm kind of leaving it a little more simple. And I'm just adding the word treats instead. So it's missing like that outline piece there. And I'm just adding treats. So that's another variation that you can do. And I love the simplicity of this one with the black and white. And then I wanna show you how I did the cones. So I took the white cones and I took the cones and I ran them through my die cut machine and the ginger snap and I just cut off the cone portion. So like the bottom part of the cone and then the top little piece and I just snipped them off 
And so like the ice cream part, I just uh, snipped that off. And then I had the cone, I glued the cone on top of the white. And then I had actually, well, I actually inked the white cone first, um, just with my ink dauber. I did it um, in the marigold, the kiwi, and, um, oh my goodness. What other, what is that color? It's my favorite color. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. And the pink color. Words are not my friend today. Um, and then, um, so I'm stacking the cones. So this was my boyfriend's idea. Um, he thought, he said, when you see an ice cream shop, you know how they have like the stack of cones. And I thought that was a great idea. So um, yeah, I used his suggestion and I decided to stack a bunch of cones on the side. So that's what I'm doing here. Instead of putting the ice cream on the side, I am putting the cones over here. And then I'm going to stack three of these over here with the ice cream in them. And then I'm using that fun little banner and I'm going to put it across here. I'm just kind of dry fitting these um, just to see what it's going to look like. And then I will um, glue, get these glued down and I'll come back and show you. So... I think I like that. So let me play around with that and see how that's gonna look. Maybe I like it at the top. I can't decide if I like it at the top or if I'm gonna move it to the bottom. Which do you like better? I can't decide. Guava, that's the pink color. <laughs> I knew it would come to me. Yeah, guava, kiwi, and marigold. Okay, those are the colors I used. Whew. All right, so off camera, I went ahead and glued these down. Now I did have to cut a flag off of each end to make it fit. And then the I used one of the single flags and put it in the center. Oh, and I'm missing the center embellishment for the tire. So let me go ahead and glue a gem here. And there we go. That is our second card. I like it. All right, let's start our third card. So for this third card, this is a little wild. So I wanna show you how to make the hot dog. So for the hot dog, I actually cut the hot dog out in white, and then I used my ginger snap ink to color up like the outer portion of the hot dog. And then I took one of my Copic markers and I used like the thicker end, like I'm showing here, and I colored in the inside part in a red color and then a yellow color like for the ketchup and the mustard and then I assembled them as I'm doing here by using my tweezers and adding glue and then I am adhering them to the um, to the base there um, to make the hot dog so while I'm getting this glued down, as I kind of fuss with this for a moment, I wanted to talk about the card base that's underneath my arm there. So to make that little card base, I took a piece of card stock and I just used the ink blending tools and I used sunshine and uh, marigold. <laughs> I just ink blended those two together and then I just took a, um, a water bottle and just spritzed one spritz of water onto the cardstock and that's how I made this like ombre kind of look on the cardstock and then I matted that on black so it's like an eighth of an inch smaller on the top and on the sides so then there here's my corn dog or hot dog I guess it's a hot dog isn't that cute so I just wanted to show you how I did those. I did most of these off camera, um, but here's my ombre card base that I was talking about. So I think that turned out really good. Um, I was really surprised. I did not realize that the Stamps of Life inks would blend so well. Um, and I used the large um, ink blending. They're not like, they're like the... Um, I don't think they're the brushes. They're like the the big ones. Um, I don't know what you call them. You know which ones I'm talking about? They're like the big ones. 
Uh, okay, so I'm spelling out the words hot dog, it's your birthday. Isn't that cute? I thought that was so fun. Hot dog, it's your birthday. I thought that was fun. So, and then I'm adding all these hot dogs to the card. So I thought that was just a fun way to use the hot dogs. And I will bring in um, where I got the hot dog and it's your birthday in just a moment. But I just kind of want to put these on the card to show you how I want this to go. And yeah, I think it's going to look something like that. So let me bring in where I got these from. So um, first off, let me start with the letters. So did you know that on the creative decks sets there is one that has these letters on them and i absolutely love these so i use them on my creative decks cards but you can also use them on your cards and how fun is that to use them spelling out hot dog and so this little die right here that cuts out like the base behind the letter so i cut that out in white and then the other ones i cut out in strawberry so that was fun to do. And then the It's Your Birthday, that was from um, this set, and it's called Birthday Strips to Stamp. And there's so many fun birthday sentiments on here. If you don't have this set, it's a good one to add to your collection too. I used it, um, the Calories Don't Count on Your Birthday stamp set on it on my Mother's Day card, I think. Or Let's Eat Cake, I used that. But I love all those. All right, so here is my finished card. So if you've enjoyed this video, I hope you'll hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, I hope you'll subscribe and come back. And if you're not already a club member, you can join using my coupon code Melissa M to earn 500 bonus club points to spend in the Stamps of Life store. Leave me a comment down below, which is your favorite card? Card number one, card number two, or card number three? Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.